the summertime, things get really busy here. There is constant action on the radio. It can be really stressful. Sometimes it's, it's not just taking the call that's stressful, it's that I can't ignore a call, so somebody else might be calling me at the same time. So during the summer season, um, it can get quite hectic in here, especially uh, given our area of responsibility that basically goes from the Ontario-Quebec border, all of Lake Ontario, part of Lake Erie, all of Lake Winnipeg, and also the Trent Severn Waterway. It's kind of a go, go, go atmosphere. There's some days where you barely have time to take a break, but honestly, like the adrenaline fuels me and like I get a really big rush from like the busy days. It can be really exhausting to work a 12-hour shift that doesn't stop. So it's really important to be on top of my health, to have self-care, to be able to actually get enough sleep. Otherwise, I can't show up and do the job. You never know what you're gonna get in a given day. It changes every day. And you have to like rely on your coworkers and you build these like really deep relationships with them. And that's some satisfaction in knowing that you are helping people just by going to work every day. It's very fun for me to know that at the end of the experience, I am going to have done everything possible to help somebody get home safe. When I tell someone that I work for the Coast Guard, the first question is, do I work on a boat? <laughs> and um, I say, no, there's lots of shore personnel that are out there and we have to work together with the ships and the fleet to uh, keep everyone safe or to tend buoys or do ice breaking it, things like that. And so even though I'm behind the scenes, really, if I say that I work for Coast Guard, people always recognize it and say, oh, I work for Coast Guard, oh, where do you work? So, and they always ask me questions about it.